Let's take a look at your current experience of the census. What, what, how, how the water laps against your boat currently, okay? So here we have a picture, okay, of an upside down person, right? Okay. Other than that, not too much, right? But if I actually rotate this picture, the picture didn't change, kind of looks a little weird with those eyes. And here's where your perceptual routines are used to seeing, you know, when it was upside down, you saw his eyes as normal. But now that I rotate it, you wouldn't, I mean, I, he almost looks like the, the, the demonic. Can you do that again? I'm going to do that again. I'm going to rotate the picture and you'll notice that the image doesn't change, okay? Because we're, our, our sensory perception is used to seeing the eye here with a brow above it, not for anything underneath it, okay? But watch, you'll notice the image doesn't, doesn't change. Okay. Now, and now I'm not saying that indicators are necessarily perceived in this way. You don't have to start looking at people like this. But I just want you to become aware of, of, of your, your senses are used to some routines of, because of what we encounter every day. So now I'm going to give you another example of perceptual routine. So as you are all observing this image here, so we have four corners with, I don't know, it looks like a Pizza, a, a pizza with a buy or a pie with a cut out of it. Some of you might think of Pac-Man. Okay. Now, as you're looking at this, just tell me what you notice. Just, I see Pac-Man all over the place. You see four? Okay, I, see, I see all the, you know, all across the screen. I'm seeing all of them. Okay. Yes. This <laughs> seems to be outlining a white rectangle. Okay, so how many of you see this rectangle yeah, in the center? Okay. Does anybody not see the rectangle? Everybody sees the rectangle. Do you also notice how this rectangle has a 3D effect or it appears to hover off the, the screen and towards you? Is everybody having that experience? Anybody not having that experience? Okay. Well, and perceiving this rectangle. Everybody, everybody's with me? Okay. Now, do you all know that there is no rectangle drawn in this screen, in this image? But yet you are seeing a rectangle. You're seeing the borders of a geometric shape that are not there. So now watch what happens if I remove, this is what's called an illusory contour. They can come in all kinds of geographic shapes. But what happens when I move just one of the pies. Now notice how your perception begins to collapse in that part. It wants to, it wants to add a rectangle, but it can't. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Well, actually, no, I'm seeing now a smaller square going into the longer rectangle. Okay. Like, you know, you got the rectangle, and now I'm seeing like it's like a border. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Okay. I okay. It's all right. But you've, but you've noticed the difference between when there was four yeah. pies yeah. With, and three now. Yeah. So my job this weekend is to, to remove some of the, the borders mm -hmm. that have kept your uh, perception perhaps an illusion or into illusory routines so that you actually get to the point where what you see is only four pieces of pie and you no longer see the false borders of a rectangle.